Today we're going to be talking about Alien Covenant. I know when the movie ended, you were itching to talk about it. So what are your thoughts on Alien Covenant? I enjoyed it. Not to the extent where I loved the film, but it was enjoyable. Gotcha. As an Aliens fan. This movie's easy to appreciate, especially coming off of Prometheus, which I... Yeah. Which you could tell what they were doing, and I think Covenant did what they were trying to do in Prometheus. Mm, Okay. Prometheus left you with a lot of questions that it was like, oh, you don't know that? Well, that's why you don't know what's going on in this scene. And, like, motivations were fuzzy with certain characters. Why do you think your people made me? We made you because we could. Can you imagine how disappointing it would be for you to hear the same thing from your creator? But I think this movie clears a lot of those questions up, and the questions it asks with this one, it's sort of showing it's going to answer these in the future. Because they already did four movies where the alien was the center. And honestly, that is what you're coming for. But with the alien being a backdrop and like a goal for the villain, I feel like it ties in well enough so where alien fans should be able to appreciate that. My thoughts on Alien Covenant was it was just okay. So and so. At least the the alien films had Ripley. They had a character you could get behind. They had a character you really liked. <laughs> Get away from her, you bitch! Catherine Waterston did not quite work as a Ripley character because I, I, I don't know if it was the way her character was written. There was no real arc for her. Just right off the bat, she's a yeah. badass. Where is this goddamn thing? Four meters above you. So we don't really see her get built up in that way. And even, like, when she was having badass moments, she was, like, weeping in between, which was really confusing. I feel like all the stuff that they decided to put on YouTube was so important. I feel like everyone would enjoy this movie a whole lot more if they had put those little portions in. Just the bare minimum of getting to know your characters is fine. You've all sacrificed so much to be here. To be a part of this. It's the first ever large-scale colonization mission to go this far into our galaxy. When they go from the first act to that second act where we meet this character, it's like, oh my god, okay, this movie's getting good. And then in the third act, they're like, okay, back to what you loved, the crew. And it's like, no, 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 go back to David, please. Yes, yes. That was the same issue I had with Prometheus, which is I liked everything in the beginning where it was an interesting film about the creation of human beings and where we come from, all this. And then the second act is slasher movie. Kill the crew. Everybody run. (laughs) Things explode. And yes, you're coming into an alien film, but it's like the movie doesn't know what it wants to be. I'm just hyped after this for... What's coming next? I think it's going to be the same movie for the third time in a row. (laughs) I think it's just going to be intelligent first act, or in this case, it was the middle act. If I get another Alien Covenant, I will not like the third one, and I will like this one less. Well, dude, that's what you're going to (laughs) get. That's exactly what you're going to get. I'm hoping, though. The reason Alien and Aliens worked was because they were very simple stories. Yes. Here's the crew. They see a strange anomaly on a planet. They go check it out. And then this bad, evil thing kills them, and they gotta escape. And then they kill the alien, and then everything's okay. The main character lives, and the film. Second movie, same sort of situation, except now our protagonist doesn't want to go to that planet because she knows what's gonna happen, but they do it anyways. Mm-hmm. God damn it! That's not all! Because if one of those things gets down here, then that will be all. Then all this, this bullshit that you think is so important, you can just kiss all that goodbye. And then you kind of go through the same thing, except it's in the vein of an action movie. So it's a little different, gives it some more flavor. See, I think... And then they do it in the third film, and everyone's getting bored with it. And then you do it in the fourth film, and it gets more ridiculous, and people get bored with it. And then they make Prometheus, and it starts off with this really cool, unique, different thing... And then it turns into an alien movie without the aliens. And then Alien Covenant. Right off the gate, like, shit's going wrong. But we don't know who any of these people are. You hear that? What? Nothing. 
then it gets interesting. And then it becomes the same film. Like, what movie do you want to make? But people like the complex stuff. They want more of it, and they're upset that they, like, only half measured it and gave you only open questions. And this movie did more of that, and the things that people like from this new movie is the complex stuff yeah. they're scared to show you. Holy Alien Covenant. Would you recommend it? If you're interested, then go see it with previous knowledge. Maybe watch like a wrap-up online before you go. So yeah. you feel deeper emotions than this movie gives you. Specifically Prometheus. So not yeah. an automatic recommendation, but if you're interested, make sure to pre-game with some alien knowledge. If you just like dumb horror movies, you'll like it. Otherwise, if you're like a huge alien fan and you're thinking, oh, this is going to be as good as the first one... Nope, sorry, pal. This is Prometheus all over again. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. yeah. It's Prometheus all over again. They didn't take any notes. You know, so if you had the same issues with it that I did, eh, wait for it to be on demand or something and like that. And then just watch the middle part with David, and then you're all good. Mm -hmm.